Yo, hello guys and welcome back to Dividend Investor. I'm back today with another video in my review series of um, apps and investment apps, saving apps. And today I'll be going over the Moneybox UK investments and savings app. Just going over a few different features that they have and a few different sort of ways of saving money and investing money that they use and which one I use personally. But before I get into the video guys, if you could please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Get in the comments and help boost that YouTube algorithm out. I'll be much appreciated. So guys, Moneybox is a UK based investment and savings app. They have many different um, sort of savings and investment um, accounts out there. The, person, the one I use personally is a general investment account, which I've obviously just begun putting a few pounds, just playing with, putting a, bit, a few money, a bit of money in here and there. Obviously at the moment I've got 20 pounds and 28 pence in, I'm up 1.4%. Uh, as you can see, it breaks it down. Obviously, I invest. The, the good thing about this guy is you get someone to do it for you. you pick your investments. They do it sort of passively. You, you'd have to. You can select. If you go into the breakdown, you can see I invest in Fidelity Index World, which is global shares. If you got more information, you can see. It tracks the global stock market with shares more than sixteen hundred companies across more than 23 companies such as amazon facebook netflix obviously invested in businesses around the world from uh, toyota in japan to apple in the us obviously we risk globally you haven't got all your eggs in one basket that's one thing that's invested that i've selected the next one is iShares global property equity again Gain exposure to property without buying any buildings yourself. Pool your money into lots of others and invest in over 300 property companies from around the world across a range of industries, from residential housing to shopping centres. You'll own shares in companies like British Land, which own 188 shopping and leisure centres, Equity Residential and the S&P 500 companies that de develop luxury apartments in the US. So that's the one good thing about Moneybox is, guys, it's sort of like you can select... Let's just try and find it. If you go to settings and allocations, so obviously at the moment I've got 60% of my money goes into the global shares and 40% into the uh, global property shares. You can sort, this is based on the allocations that they give you. So if you go and change allocations, you can have for cautious, which is a modest growth whilst minimizing risk, balance, which aims for more growth by accepting more risk, or adventurous, which is high risk, higher risk and higher growth possibilities. So I went for the adventurous. As you can see, that is similar to mine, but I thought you can tweak it a little bit. So obviously on here it has 80% global shares, 15% global, uh, global property shares and 5% corporate bonds. I sort of um, edited it, so it made it 60% global shares, 40% property shares, and I didn't want to invest in any corporate bonds. And as well, guys, you can look on the historic returns. So obviously pretty much each year is up, there's only one year, I think it was 2011, which was down 6 6.1 percent <clears throat> excuse me but obviously over the years the historic returns usually are quite positive so yeah, guys just started playing around adding a little bit some little bits of money to this um account every now and then you can also um let's have a look a bit more settings it just goes in tra uh, by transfer every week from your bank you can set it let's try and find out to do that you can add your own money manually obviously a few other accounts they have guys with them is a personal pension account take care of your pension obviously many of us have thousands of pounds sitting uh, sitting all stranded pension pots from previous jobs the money box pension makes it easier to bring them all together and understand what you have you can take control of your pen of your future tick your pension off list uh, off your to-do list and feel good knowing you the hand of your money is all in one place Moneybox makes it easy. Tracking down old pots can be difficult. That's why I dedicated pension, pension transfer team here to help. So that's good if you're not sure where a lot of your money is based. Offer a simple range of investment options, including social responsible fund, which allows you to invest in a way that's more aligned with your values. So there you go. You can join the pension if you want. And the next one is a lifetime ISA. A lifetime ISA is you can buy your own home or save for a later date. You must be over 18, but under 40 to open a lifetime ISA. So if you're 39, nearly 40, get doing that now if you want. I will, I've got a lifetime, well, we'll be opening a lifetime ISA with these as I'm saving my own house. You can put up to £4,000 each year until you're 50. The government will add 25% of your savings up, 
to a maximum of one uh, one thousand pound per year. So that's really good. The next one, obviously, is stock shares ISA. I do own, obviously own one of them with free trade. Invest up to twenty thousand pounds per year with tax free uh, gains with your stocks and shares ISA. They have standard savings accounts for short term goals. Obviously, I, I hate saving money. I, I I really do despise it. It's, I just feel like it's dead money, but. If you're just trying to save up for something, say like a new, I don't know, if you want to buy a games console or something like that, or something short term, I do recommend savings accounts. So that's 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 all the accounts you can get with the Moneybox app. I've been using it for around about a month now, guys, and I really do like the app. It's quite easy to use. Obviously, it lets you know where all your money's invested and how it's doing regularly, and it has a manual uh, transfer, so you can you don't have to worry about putting money all the time. It just goes automatically out of your account, out of your bank account, into it. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for my... I do obviously really like the app. Moneybox is a good app to use, and I'll be using it probably in the future as well quite a bit. Obviously, with my Lifetime ISO, which I'll be opening, and my general investment account, which I do have, which I'm playing around with at the moment. So, guys, let, that is it for the video, guys. Just let me know what you think of the, the video. Give it a thumbs up. Get in the comments if you use the Moneybox app. Let me know if you don't, and this video's persuaded you to have a look into it. Just let me know as well, guys. That'd be great. So, all in all, take care, guys. Bye.